This is a Nintendo Game Boy SP with a Hello Kitty skin on it that I just found at a thrift store. Today's video is going to be about gaming consoles that I find for cheap on Marketplace or at the thrift store and this is one of the best ones that I've found so far. All right, so we got the phone tested, working on. I think it's an Asus phone. And then we got a Wii in the box. Wii Sports edition with the box. That's crazy, only 30 bucks. Plus we got a coupon code. Took off 10. As I was just passing the shelves, I seen this just poking off the side. I come back and pick it up and it is just a beautiful glacier blue Game Boy Advance for only $39.99 and the screen was in perfect condition everything is working and it is available right now on my eBay if you are interested so we're running to grab this right here it's a PSP for $15 with a game and the original box $15 with the original box he's saying the battery doesn't work but I'm thinking he just hasn't fully charged it or it just needs a new battery and it's gonna be mint $15 is a steal though, especially with the original box. I have not even seen one of these with the original box in a long time. Came out with that PSP for 15 bucks in the box. Look at the original price on it. $299, that is fucking crazy. I just got this for 15. Honestly, that's just the absolute steal because I swear they're still like 100 plus. But when you mod them, you can get even more. And it's in just mint condition, oh shit. It was a personally owned one by like an adult, so there's literally like no scratches on it. He said it had a bad battery, but it actually didn't have a battery at all. Came with a nice little case too though. Case, the original box, we got some cords in here, even a game, dinner dash, original little booklet, you know, the Sony, I guess there's a memory card in there right now. He even gave this. It's like a little PSP mic or something. I've never even seen this before. A little PSP mic. Got a little stand. I think that's for a Wii. Isn't that for the Wii? That's for the Wii. <laughs> I got a little Wii sensor stand. That's weird. And yeah, just all, you know, all the inserts and shit. But for $15, that's probably one of the best deals I've gotten on something in a while. So... We are actually in a different city than we usually are. I had to drive a city out to get this deal. But we're at a different thrift right now. So we're gonna go check that thrift, see if there's anything cool in there. And uh, we'll be flipping this in a minute. Full Wii console, Wii remote, sensor, power bar. And look at that price on there. Oh yeah, baby. I'm just gonna buy this and I'll head back out. I just found another graphics card with the box. I only paid $36 for this one, but it goes for more than 100 so I'm pretty sure I got a great price on it And it came with the actual box and it looks like mint absolutely mint. So What a great great find So I just came out from buying that whole Wii for like seven dollars and as soon as I was about to leave I just found this too. I forgot to record $5.99 for the NES Advantage It's like the little uh, little joystick kit for playing fighting games or whatever NES games really needed it, right? So this is a thrift that I come to a lot. Most of the gaming consoles I find are actually found at this thrift. And this is just a amazing find. Just a brand new PSP 1000. Didn't have a battery in it, but that's pretty much expected with PSPs. Most of the batteries just blow up. They weren't very good, especially after all this time. But luckily, all you need to do is buy a new battery and they're pretty cheap. I can say though, I am lucky to be in this area and I do find a lot of good gaming consoles here. I lived in a different area before and I didn't find nearly anything like I do in this area. So this is just a look at the current collection that we have. The $15 PSP, just in mint condition, perfect, working perfectly. And the new PSP I just found, also working perfectly in pretty good condition, has a couple scratches on the back. And we have the IPS Spice Orange Game Boy Advance that I did pick up on Marketplace. Unfortunately, I didn't get any videos of that. And then the Glacier Blue and the Hello Kitty Game Boy SP.
I also found this Nintendo DS with a cool Nintendo DS case, but that was just off camera. We gotta go! I'm dropping off all the packages right now! Everybody order a package! Your package is coming to you! I am speeding down the road! And we are delivering these packages! Ah! I ship every single day, even if it's just one box or one shirt. If you see anything in the video that you like, links are in description, unless I already sold it. Back in the thrift and we found a nice black Nintendo Wii with the full setup. I got the AV cords, the power cords, the sensor, everything. This one's the RVL 101 so you cannot use GameCube controllers but it's only $5.99 so we're gonna definitely make some great money on this. Now this is another Facebook Marketplace flip. It was a Nintendo Switch, it says read description because there was issues with the Switch. Now the front of the screen is in perfect condition, there's no scratches or anything. But the back does have some damage, the kickstand is missing, but everything else is working perfectly. Other than just the kickstand and some back damage, it's really not big of a problem. The Joy-Con was unauthentic on the pink one, so the pink one is a third party Joy-Con. So it does slip off a bit, but we're going to make some good money. This was the most expensive console I bought at the thrift the whole video. It's a crimson red DS Lite and it was $34.99. So I was just going to gamble on it and hope and pray that it was working. So I also found a million of these. All Nintendo DS. They're all different. This is like a little backpack. Got a little like bowling bag. Leather. And then this cool pink one. I just found this one. This one's the coolest in my opinion. But, so, as you've just seen, the $34 red crimson DS. So, what you may wondering is, is it working? Is it good? Guess what? I got smoked completely. The shit is broken. You can see right here on the screen, it's a little fucky. So, we're gonna have to rip the shell off. This bottom screen's good, but I got smoked. And it was $34, and that's literally like the most I paid for anything in this whole video. So, we got this one. This is a pink one. And they both also have broken hinges on the same side. I don't know what was with these breaking right on the same area, but they both broke. Anyways, we're gonna take both of these and we're gonna take the top from this one and the bottom from this one, and we're gonna put them on something else. That's what we're gonna have to do because we got completely smoked and scammed. And it's crazy because this was in the case and everything else I found was literally in just like the regular store. So the one thing from the case was broken and I paid the most for it. But with our profit, it's not really a big deal because we make so much profit. It's, you know, $30 to lose $30. I'm not even gonna lose because I am gonna custom both of these and do something. And you know what? Once I take the top screen off this, and the bottom screen off this, I still have this. And I've seen people just use these as Game Boy macros. So we're gonna have some potential money left oh, in these, but it's crazy that I basically got scammed <laughs> by the showcase. And they literally should just put it in the store for like nothing because it's broken. But yeah, so that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, that like button, the sub button, on the next video, I'm probably going to be doing these and doing something with these. So if you want to see what I do with these, 
hit that sub button stay tuned for the next one i'll see you guys peace Water, 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 water